We kick off the heat index right now with an anti-smoking campaign getting a lot of buzz at last night's MTV Video Music Awards. It shows celebrities like Rihanna, Robert Pattinson, Orlando Bloom all caught on camera smoking. And the ad goes on to say that these celebs are serving as, quote, unpaid spokespeople for big tobacco. And it's a way just basically shaming them. And these widely distributed mm -hmm. photographs encourage people to think before smoking. I wonder if this is going to yeah. work. Look I mean, it's pretty powerful, I yeah. have to say. And they say to please stop posting selfies of yourself smoking because right. just a marketing campaign I believe it was like one third of all young people who start smoking will die of a tobacco related death so mm. it's a serious issue yeah, yeah nothing stuff. glamorous about it no. um, also in our heat index this morning it's a brand new phone charger this one is disguised as a fashion accessory the tech startup Q Designs introducing a bracelet now that unclasps and plugs directly into your phone your Android your iPhone it's capable of recharging most most smartphones, about 60%. The company's saying that they focused on both the technical aspects and the sleek design, giving men and women different versions mm. of a bracelet. Uh, and you know, we've all been there. You either have your Mophie or right. you carry around a charger. <laughs> You're in a jam. This isn't going to get it fully charged, but it'll give you some. My question was, is it okay to have uh, a charge that close to your skin yeah, all the yeah. time? There's so, still so many questions about the phone near your ear. That's um, true. I think it's the thing, it's never sexy to pull out that cord from your pocket. Yeah. Having <laughs> it lingering as you plug it in. And then searching for an outlet yeah. somewhere. <laughs> exactly. I never thought of it quite that way, but I guess you're right. Yeah. <laughs> um, but, they, but, but it is a hot idea, and at least it would be sort of fashionable. Sleek. And, right? and who knows, it could become the next big thing. Yeah. Well, and we talked about it first. And speaking <laughs> of fashion, it was a fashionable night at the MTV VMAs, the red carpet full of red hot looks. Talk show host and shoe designer for Chinese Laundry, Kristen Cavallari, is here in Social Square this morning with her picks of the most memorable outfits. And so we'll walk into Social Square because everyone's talking about it. Kristen, nice to see you. Hello. You've said that hands down, Iggy Azalea's owned the red carpet. Tell me why. I, I do. I think so because she looks absolutely gorgeous. It's unexpected, her dress. Um, it fits her like a glove, and the silver is just so beautiful on her. It is gorgeous. Look at that. She sparkled. And then J-Lo, also oh. rocking silver last night. I mean, leave it to J-Lo to show a little skin, but when you look that good, why not? She just gets better and better. It's kind of amazing. I agree. And then there were some risk takers last night for the number three spot. You have Taylor Swift in what people, we've been calling it a onesie. Is that correct? Yeah, it is a onesie. And, and that's my problem with it. I think it would have been better if it was a romper and had a little bit more coverage at the bottom, but she has the legs to pull it off. And I was going to say, we have legs makeup. like that. Why not? Yeah, exactly. And it's young. It's fun. It is the VMAs. So she does look great. And speaking of fun, Katy Perry in a Versace custom gown in denim. <laughs> I know. It was, well, was a bold move. Very bold move. She's uh, paying homage to Britney Spears, who I was obsessed with growing up. And that moment of her and Justin Timberlake back in the day will always stick out in my mind. So I kind of love it. All right. So Katy brought it back and she rocked it well. She always can pull off something a little stunning. And we there actually you asked you at home uh, who wore it best. And so we have the results from our viewers poll from goodmorningamerica.com at Yahoo. And so we'll walk over oh. to who wore it best at the VMAs. And the winner, J-Lo, with 43%. Yes. You know, you got to love it because she was double the age of a lot of the viewers. And look at her rocking that in her no. 40s. No Go kidding. girl as another woman in her 40s. I'm glad <laughs> well, that she's just representing. No, I don't think I can pull that off. But anyway, she did. And congratulations to J-Lo. Thank you, Kristen. Thank you. We appreciate it. Thank you so much.